Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and this is part two of the Integrated Physics and Chemistry Semester 1 Study Guide. So here are some things you need to be ready for. Uh, keep in mind that you will be expected to perform some dimensional analysis unit conversions. So I'll give you the conversion factors like there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch, and you will be expected to find an equivalent uh, value for a given value. Remember, you need to know these formulas, the ones we've talked about for motion and momentum and forces, acceleration, work, energies, and the uh, electric current flows. You need to know how to read a graph. So if I ask how many people uh, are in the store at, let's say, 2.30 p.m., you should be able to look at this graph and go along here and see that right here at 2.30, there should be about 10 people in the store. Know how to read a graph. In an experiment to determine whether the popping of popcorn is affected by the storage temperature, what are you doing when you count the popcorn kernels? You are making an observation. Speed is the rate of change in, look at the formula, speed is distance divided by time, so distance. Like charges repel, whereas opposites attract. For charges, this is true. Temperature is a measure of average kinetic energy. We're looking at how fast the molecules are moving around in an object or in a space or in an object. And the more frequently and faster they move, the higher the temperature. At absolute zero, all of that motion stops. The domains in a magnet are aligned. And you can see in the diagram on the left side, this would not be magnetic because the domains are not aligned. But on the right side, they're all pointing the same directions. So this object would be magnetic. The fuel used in a nuclear reactor usually comes from uranium. And that is a limited resource. When we run out, there's no more uranium. So uh, that makes nuclear power a non-renewable resource. The function of a generator is to change mechanical energy into electrical energy. The kinetic energy of an object increases as it, look at the formula, if you increase the velocity, the kinetic energy will also increase because they are proportional and it's a rate of a square, so that would make it increase a lot. If you increase the mass as well, that would also increase the kinetic energy. A pollutant is any substance that contaminates the environment. This is true. A substance contaminates the environment when it interferes with the natural process of things. The region around a magnet where the magnetic forces act is the, and you can see the diagram here, this is a magnetic field. The relationship among mass, force, and acceleration is explained by Newton's second law. Remember our acronym LIFE. Inertia, force is mass times acceleration and equal and opposite reaction forces. A resistor is a device that converts chemical energy into electric energy. That is false. A resistor resists the flow of current. The thermal energy obtained from a nuclear reactor is used to make, if you look at our diagram, we have a nuclear reactor here and it has water circulating through it or some sort of uh, fluid and the reactor heats this up and then that is exposed to water in this chamber and it turns this water into steam and this moving steam is used to turn the turbine and the turbine turns the generator and the generator goes to the switch yard and it runs off to your home to power your house. To describe velocity, you need to know two things. You need to know the magnitude or the amount. Magnitude is a fancy word that just means how much. And you also need to know the direction. Because of this, we represent velocity with a vector, and that's represented with an arrow. Unwanted radioactive products formed during nuclear reactions are called nuclear waste, and it lasts for thousands of years. 
Water makes a good coolant because it has a blank. It has a high specific heat. It is it can absorb a lot of energy before it changes temperature. What devices are designed to open an overloaded circuit and prevent overheating? This would be fuses or circuit breakers. <clears throat> what do control rods do in a nuclear reactor? When the control rods are in the nuclear fuel, it prevents chain reactions happening. When you remove the control rods, chain reactions occur in the nuclear fuel and it generates tremendous amounts of heat. And if you uh, let that get away from you, if you have a chain reaction that is so intense that it runs away from you, you end up with a lot of energy and it results in a meltdown. When the drag force on an object falling through the air equals the force of gravity, the object has reached terminal velocity. It will not go any faster. For someone jumping out of an airplane like this fellow over here, it's around 150 to 170 miles per hour. Once you hit that speed, you won't go any faster. A stretched bow and a compressed rubber ball both possess elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy is defined as energy stored in in compression or stretched compressed or stretched objects and in this case that would be represented in both examples so this statement is indeed true when two balls collide the momentum of the balls after the collision is explained by which law that would be the law of conservation of momentum which means that the momentum you start with has to equal the momentum you end with when two or more simple machines work together, they are called a compound machine. Things like sewing machines and bicycles, blenders, stuff like that. Compound machines. Which is the transfer of thermal energy through the motion of particles caused by temperature differences? You need to know the three kinds of thermal energy transfer. And in this case, we're talking about motion, and that is convection energy transferred by the mass motion of, mar of molecules. And you see this in boiling liquids and you see it in weather patterns. And that is the end of study guide two. Study hard, be ready. Have a good day.